What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Mad Hatter here. It's Thursday, so we all know what that means. It's Throwback Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a great week. I haven't posted in a few days since this past weekend when I was with my daughter. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. They're pretty cool. We did a little something different, uh, but I did pull four Mike Trouts out of a... Uh, is like a blister packs of 2020 uh update tops 2020 update i pulled four my crouch which is pretty awesome uh where else have you ever seen anybody for pull four my crouch out of two packs so i mean i've done it i'm not sure if anybody else has done it but if you haven't seen that video go check it out um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Now and then pack pulls, as you see there. Go ahead and hit that sub, ring that bell. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, because it's Throwback Thursday. Everybody likes to throw back stuff. Um, so what we're going to get into today is we're going to finish up the rest of this box. Um, so if you haven't seen my other videos uh, of this uh, set here, they're actually pretty cool. We pulled some pretty nice cards. Um, so... Go check them out on my page. They're pretty cool. We pulled a bunch of Hall of Famers. So we're going to finish up this box. And then earlier today, I also posted a short little video. I was at Walmart. So I did start a new job. And there's a Walmart about five minutes away from my new job. It's on the other side of the highway. And the traffic in that area is horrendous. But thank God I went to the Walmart there and I found some product in the wild. So I'm going to be posting some videos of me ripping into that stuff a little later on, uh, probably this weekend. But I do have a busy weekend. So tomorrow I have a long day at work. But tomorrow is Friday, so I am going to do a video for Football Friday so stay tuned for that. But this weekend, I have another show out in Bernie, Texas. Uh, so my mom has a show, and then I have a show. So we're both doing our own separate shows, selling those handmade custom lighted bottles. If you haven't seen my video that I posted on those, go check it out. They are awesome. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me show you all something here. Give me one second. So... My mom made me this one last year for Christmas because she knows I'm a huge Bears fan. Let me move this. Since I'm from Chicago, she went ahead and made me this. This is a Jack Daniels bottle. I'm going to go ahead and zoom up for you here. Move this bed. It's, it's so freaking huge. You can't really see it. But look, there it is right there. It's a bottle. It's made from a giant Jack Daniels bottle but to make it even better check it out i'm gonna turn off the lights here for a little bit you, you're gonna see it light up check this out so this is what it actually looks like they're really cool we make them all by hand they have lights in them look we actually drill holes and we put christmas lights and they're all hand made chicago bears it lights all the way up to the top they make great night lights so and we sell these for twenty dollars a piece um so we sell them in all different styles uh different sizes different themes uh, we have a bunch of different teams we try to cater to a lot of customers we do like the lakers we do the raiders uh the chiefs a, a bunch of different themes if you haven't seen it go check it out on my channel but we sell these for twenty dollars if you're interested in buying one of these we'll sell them to you for the same exact price twenty dollars plus whatever it costs to ship so um let me know in the comments if you'll be interested in buying one of these they make great christmas gifts um they might not come in time for christmas but dude they're great for the man cave on your mantle, whatever, as a nightlight for your kid, or if you have some kids in college and they have a favorite team, like we we do colleges, we do A and M, Longhorns, Ohio State, Michigan. To, we can do pretty much any team. If I can find that team, we can custom make one of these awesome bottles for you. So let me know 
in the comments. I also have my email in my profile, so let me uh, you can hit me up that way as well. But we're going to get into this video. I just thought I would show you this awesome uh, product or this awesome thing that my, me and my family make. So, All right, guys, so I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to put my stuff away. I had to put my bottle back, but I just thought I would show you guys that awesome awesome product that my family makes um and we do pretty well we make all different designs different sizes like i was saying we go to these shows last week we made about fifteen hundred dollars in a weekend just selling those so we do pretty well but it's an awesome unique custom one-of-a-kind um product you can't get it anywhere because we're the only ones that make them so uh we've had customers who came out to one of our shows last year bought one said they had family come over and see it and they're like oh that is so awesome where did you get it and everybody calls my mom the bottle lady they're like oh we got it from the bottle lady at the show it's so awesome and they're like oh I want one and they're like, well, you can't have one like this because it's all one of a kind. Uh, but if there's a team or a pattern or a theme that you like, we can make it. So we get a bunch of different bottles and we make them on different size bottles. Jack Daniels, Patron, we have a bunch of different ones. So we can make a same theme, but it's never going to be on the same kind a bottle because they're all one of a kind so anyway enough of my rambling uh, i've been talking for a while now we're gonna get into this product here this 1999 complete set includes series one and two tops major league baseball these cards are awesome so we're gonna finish this set off here today so we're gonna pick up where we left off uh, let's see here so I put my spacer in there so I remember where I left off at. Um, and we're going to get into this right now. So, starting off here, we have Jason Kendall. Look at that picture. That's an awesome, awesome picture sliding in what looks into second base. That's actually pretty, it's a pretty cool picture. We have a Darren Bragg. This guy, when he was playing, man, he was good. He was one uh, of the best players, I would say, that this team has ever had besides Hank, Aaron, and a few other ones. But this guy was good, and he just fell off, man. But he was really good. We have an Andrew Jones. I always thought Andrew Jones was a really, really good player. We have a Ray Ordonez. I believe he also played for my Cubbies as well. We have a... Uh, Jay Lopez. I don't think he's any relation to Javi Lopez, but we have a Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn was all right. He's not a Hall of Famer, but uh, then we have a Masato Yoshi. Never heard of him. We have a Jimmy Hayes. Jose Valentin, I remember him. I almost thought that was Rafael Palmero, but that's Jose Valentin. We have uh, Armando Benitez. And a David Segui. We have a Daryl Kyle. And this guy was pretty good too, Brian Giles. This guy right here is one of my favorite pitchers of all time. Greg Maddox started out with my Cubbies, got traded to the Braves, but this guy is a definite Hall of Famer, one of my favorite pitchers of all time. This guy's also in the Hall of Fame, Edgar Martinez. Mike Bordick. We have a Brad Fulmer. Another little flipperoo here. We have a Scott Hatterberg. Uh Here's what the back of the cards look like, guys. It has a nice little picture there, some stats, info about the player. But I, I love how it has this gold border. And the, the photography isn't bad. The only thing I don't like about these cards is the lettering. It's 
it's gold and it's hard to see when it's like that you almost have to let the light hit it but these are still really nice cards we have a bj surhoff Quivio Veras. Is that a John Oler? Yes. I always talk about this guy, man. He's one of the most underrated players I I think of all time. John Olerud was a great, great baseball player, especially his days with Toronto. This guy doesn't get the credit and respect he deserves, but John Olerud was a really good all around player. And then here's one here, a Bartolo Cologne. It's not a rookie card, is it? It looks like it might be a rookie card, but it, it doesn't say rookie card. But look, this is a young Bartolo. Come on, man. Then we have a Russ Davis. Jay Bell. Chris... Gomez, Darren Lewis, another flipper here, and this guy was a big stick, Andres Galarraga, Mike Musina, the Moose, uh, I know 401 breaks, I like this one, he's a big Mike Musina fan over there. And then we have a Tom Goodwin, speedy guy right there. A Bobby Jones. And we got a Denny Nagel. This guy was pretty decent here. I believe he played for the Royals too, Brett Saberhagen. I have a Rob Nin. And then we have a Dave Burba. Jeff Facero, Brian Johnson, and here we go. I feel like I'm in the circus with all these flips. Another flipper, Trevor Hoffman. I believe this guy's in the Hall of Fame, and I have this guy's rookie card for the red. So this guy was a good pitcher too, Trevor Hoffman. And we have a gold cup card here of Ben Grieve, who, uh, he was all right. We have a Butch Husky. That's, dude, if this guy was, like, fat, that would be a great name for him. Butch Husky. Be like, describe what that guy it looks like. Oh, he's a little Butch Husky. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. We have a Jarrett Wright. Jarrett Wright. Is that my boy? Oh, look at this one. This one's awesome. Awesome looking card. The kid. Ken Griffey Jr. That's a really nice Griffey there. That one's definitely going in my PC. And then we have a Rondell White. This guy was decent. All right, let's continue here. We're going to put these aside here. Yeah, I really love the way these cards look. Um, I picked this set up at one of my LCSs. Uh, so there, where I... Where I live out at is way out in the country. So I live far as hell away from everything. Uh, but I went to a LCS, picked up this set. Everything in there was so freaking expensive. But I'm glad I picked up this set because there's some really nice cards. We have a Rick Reed. A Brady Anderson. Bob Wickman. Oh, here is a nice one. Another Hall of Famer. This guy was great. Tony Gwynn. Let's see. Tony. Great hitter right there. One of the best hitters in the game. Another flipper Roo here. We have a Jeff Cirillo. I don't remember this guy, but he's wearing a Cubbies uniform. Jose Hernandez. We have a Dave Wilson. That's a cool picture, man. The photography in this set is actually really nice. And then we have a Roger Cedeno. That's a really cool picture. Look at that. He's getting up in it there at second. I have a Steve Woodard. I remember this guy here. This guy was another stick. Vinny Castilla. 
And here's a decent player. Here we got a gold cup card of Mark Kotze. That's not bad. Ooh, LSU Maniacal like this one. Here, check that out. Jeff Bagwell. That's a nice Jeff Bagwell there. Check out this Astros uniform on the back. You don't see those around anymore. That's pretty cool. We got here, uh, I got a card sticking here. We have a Dame, Damian Ely. Brett Tomko. I mean, look at that picture. That's just a great picture there. Another flipperoo. Here's a good one, too. Gary Sheffield in his daughter's uniform. Wow. 401 breaks. I like this one, too. Jorge Posada for the New York Yankees. This guy was actually a pretty good catcher. I'll, I'll probably send him this card. He'll like that. He'll probably get a kick out of that card. Jorge Posada. Brian Meadows. Yeah, I thought that was another card stuck, but these cards feel real glossy as well. Brian Meadows. Mark Loretta. Matt Anderson. This guy was a decent pitcher too. Levon Hernandez. And we have a Mark Clark. Oh, dude. 401 breaks or oh, like this one and I'll probably end up sending him this one as well. Check this out. Andy Pettit from the New York Yankees. That's a cool looking card, man. There, there is Andy Pettit. We have uh, I I remember this guy, Mickey Morandini. He was all right. Nothing to write home about. We have a Jerry Depoto. Rob Beck. Gary. Oh, it's a Gary D. Sarcina. I remember that name. Ismael Valdez. Uh, Troy Percival. Here's a cool one here. Albert Bell for the Chicago White Sox. This guy was a pretty good hitter. Check that out, guys. So he was pretty good. If you look at his homers there, 28, 34, 38, 36, 50 in 1996. Wow, 50 homers. So, yeah, that guy was a stick right there, man. And this guy played for my Cubbies at the end of his career. He also played, it, played for the hated Cardinals. But this guy was pretty good, too, man. Jim Edmonds. Also, too, if you look here. He did pretty good too. Homers there. You got 33, 27, 26, 25. So not bad. He was pretty good too. We have an Eddie Taubensy. And then a Ray Durham for the Chicago White Sox. He also played for the Giants, I believe. I have a Brett Boom. Man. So this guy's brother, I remember watching the World Series when the or not the World Series, the playoffs when the Yankees were playing the Red Sox and his brother Aaron Boone hit hit that homer. Devastating. But uh yeah, this is his brother here, Brett Boone. Ken Hill. Check this out, guys. This is a nice one here. Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, closer of all time there. Eric Carroll, he, he also played for my Cubbies. We have a Todd Helton gold cup card. That's a nice one there. Todd Helton, man, um, I'm not sure if he's ever going to make the Hall of Fame, but this guy was a stick, too. Let me see here. Yeah. So this right here, this is like a third-year card. So Todd Helton was a stick. That's a nice one there, though. We have a Charles Johnson. I remember this guy too, Jose Lima. David Wells, when he played for the Yankees, he also played for the Blue Jays, but Wells was pretty good. And dude, check this out. Gold Cup card. One of my favorite pictures of all time. 
Carry Wood. That is freaking awesome, dude. Carry Wood Gold Cup card, man. When he threw that perfect game, no hitter, and, and had 20 strikeouts, and that game freaking amazing. If you guys haven't seen that, there's a video of it on YouTube. Go check it out. And then we have a Bryant, a Brant Brown. Never heard of that guy, but... All right, guys, we're going to finish off the rest of this box here. We've got a nice little stack. I'm going to cut it in half and then finish off this box. Jose Vizcaino. Todd Jones. Flip Roo. Oh, Chuck Knobloch for the Yankees. Oh, look at this one, too. Gold Cup card for the White Sox over there on the south side of Chicago. Maglio Ordonez. That's a nice one there, too. We have a Seth Gr Gr Gris Grisinger. A Todd Dunwoody. Chris Steins. This guy was decent. Garrett Anderson. We have a Darren Dreyfus. Oh, there's a card stuck to him. A Darren Dreyfort. Jeff Reed. A Cal Eldred. And we got another flipperoo here. Ha! Oh! Check this one. I th I think I'm going to send this one to 401 Breaks, too, and they're going to get a kick out of this card here. Check it out. Daryl Strawberry for the Yankees. I've never seen him in a Yankees uniform, man, but that's pretty cool. Daryl Strawberry. Oh, is this a rookie card? This guy was a beast on my, cubby on my cubbies. Oh, it's a second-year card, man. Check this out. Derek Lee. Man, that's when he played for the Marlins. I remember 2003 uh, when the Marlins played the Cubs and that whole Steve Bartman thing happened. Man, Derek Lee was... And, and then the very next season, we got Derek Lee from the Marlins and Aramis Ramirez from the Pirates. And we had a great team, man. We had Sosa, Alou. Oh, that, yeah. So that's an awesome card there. And that brings back a lot of memories, man. Uh Devi Cruz, I remember that like it was yesterday because I was on my second tour overseas in the freaking Navy. I was on my second aircraft carrier, man, but that's pretty cool. We have a Devi Cruz, Carl Everett in a Astros uniform, uh, Ryan Jackson, and then we have a Chad Curtis. I've never heard of this guy, Chad Curtis, Justin. Thompson, dude, that looks like he's throwing a curveball right there. Just the way his fingers are coming off of that ball. We have a Mike Cameron. Ha, huh, Scott Brocious. I remember this guy, Dimitri Young. And then we got another slipperoo here. Javier Valentin. Oh, is this a, is this a rookie card? No, because I I sent LSU maniac uh, card of of this guy from ninety one ninety two because he was wearing an Astros uni then. Yeah, he he was signed with the Astros and then traded to the Phillies. Check this out, Bob Abreu. That's an awesome card there. And then we have a John, a John Wet, Wetland, Wheatland, Eric Young. All right, guys, we're going to finish it off here. Oh, and I was just talking about this guy here on the Pirates. Check this out. It's a second year card of Aramis Ramirez. Check out that photo. That's an awesome looking photo, man. Aramis Ramirez. We have a, a Jeff Montgomery. Francisco Cordova. 
Jose Guillen, Charlie Hayes. These cards are a little thick, or they feel thick. He's a Ricardo Rincon, Eric Moulton, Dave Martinez, and then we have an Aaron Selly. Kenny Rogers, not the country singer, but the pitcher. But I still wouldn't play cards with this guy because he may know when to hold them and know when to fold them. We have a Nephi Perez. Lee Stevens. I remember this guy too. Woody Williams. AJ Hinch. This guy was pretty good too, man, for... The Giants here. Uh, let me get stuck to another card. Give me one second here. JT Snow. He he was pretty good. Darren Fletcher. Another flipperoo. Jason Schmidt. This guy was a pretty good pitcher, Jason Schmidt. And look at it, man. This guy could have made the Hall of Fame if he would have only stayed healthy, man. Scott Rowland for the Phillies. What? In the Toronto uniform? Are you serious? Check this out, guys. Jose Canseco. Wow. And this guy. Look at his stats, man. Look at his homers there. 33, 31, 42, 37, 44. This guy was a beast. But we all know he was juicing. But still, I mean, yeah, that guy was something else. Bill Taylor. Tony Fernandez. Oh, look at this one, too. Man. I believe I have a second year card of this guy as well. Before 01 breaks, I'll get a kick out of this one. Check that out. Johnny Damon, man. That's a cool looking card there. Todd Walker. This guy was pretty good too. Todd Walker. Will Clark. Look at this one. Look at that stash, man. Check this out, guys. This is pretty cool. Jeff Kent. We have a Mike Lieberthal. I really remember him. He was a decent catcher. Shannon Stewart. I remember him too. And then check this out for the Texas Rangers. One of the best hitters they've had. Juan Gone. Juan Gonzalez. It's a nice one there. John Flattery. Oh, we used to have this guy on the Cubbies. Latroy Hawkins. He was all right. Is that the crime dog? That is the crime dog. Fred McGriff. Tampa Bay Uni there. He should make the Hall of Fame, man. We have a Doug Glanville. Ray Sanchez. I believe this guy also played for my Cubbies, Ray Sanchez. We have a Ray Langford. He was decent. A Pat Mears. Pat Mears. <laughs> I remember this guy, Quentin McCracken. Here comes the McCracken. Another, I believe this is the last flipperoo, guys. You just got me turning flips here, man. Uh, Rick Aguilera, John Valentine, Jeff Brantley, Terry Steinbach, Jason McDonald. I've always loved the way the A's uniforms look, especially the the yellow and green ones, but they've always had badass looking uniforms. This guy was pretty good too, man. Um, Sean Green. He also played for the Dodgers, I believe. Is that what he's in there? No, he's in the Blue Jays there, but I believe Sean Green also played for the Dodgers. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have a Dean Palmer, a Matt 
Lawton, Ryan Christensen, and a Paul Sorrento. So that's it, guys. That's the whole set. I just want to thank everybody for joining me on this journey, on this complete set. This is a really awesome product. I love the way these cards look. Uh, I'm going to go through here and see out of all these Hall of Famers, which one is my favorite one? Uh, I, I mean, we, that Johnny Damon was pretty awesome, man. But uh, let me see. That, that Derek Lee is pretty cool too, man. But um, I think the one that I'm going to go with, man, there's some pretty good ones. But I think I'm going to have to go with this one, though, man, because this one's pretty awesome. It's Ken Griffey Jr. right here, man. That's a badass card. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me here. Go ahead and give me that thumbs up, guys. Give me that thumbs up for this video it's awesome product we're done um it's thursday it's late i'm hungry i'm gonna go make me some tuna fish but um remember if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe ring that bell give me those thumbs up and i'll be bringing you some football tomorrow for football friday so stay tuned for that sorry that it's a super long video but i want it to get this product done all right much love god bless and take care uh -huh.